Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, how are you? So far, so good. Excellent. Welcome to the class. Thank you. So today it's Tuesday, but it seems or it feels like Friday. All right. So today is a very special day. So guys, how do you feel? Uh huh. Excited. Excellent. Ready for the next level, right? Ready, exactly. That's the attitude. Very good, very good. How about you, Ulisse? How do you feel? I feel um so happy because this level uh doesn't uh, how do you say no way? It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't easy, but uh I have uh a good score, a good uh nota. Score or score. score. That's a good score for me. So that's Hi. why I so happy. And I ready to next level. That's the attitude, of course. You are ready, guys. And honestly, I feel really proud of you guys. I feel totally proud. And I know that you are more than ready for the next level. And pretty soon you will be in the advanced level. So that is awesome, everybody. So today we are going to have, as always, a lot of a lot of practice. Okay. And <clears throat> I expect to everybody participate, please. All right. Remember, this is our last class. However, I can evaluate you today, all right? So please, everybody, try to do your best. Now, thank you for keeping the cameras on. Very good. Welcome, welcome, everybody. How do you feel tonight? I can see more people. How do you feel, guys? Uh-huh. Cifrido, Kevin, Carlos? Sick. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel exciting, but an engagement because um, I one step more up <laughs> to the next level. Of course. Uh-huh. And you guys? How do you feel? Excited? Ready? Exam? Yeah. Happy. Happy. <laughs> you don't look so happy. Come on. So, I'm happy, but I feel sick. So. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you get better soon. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, let's start. Thank you so much for being in the class. Thank you so much for being on time. Thanks for the ones who have the camera on. That's excellent. So let's start. We have a lot of things to do today, as always. We are going to have a lot of practice. Remember, we started this level with a lot of practice. We are going to end it. With a lot of <laughs> practice too, that's the idea. So can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. Yes, I can. Yes. Excellent. Okay, so today is September 12th and we are ending the last week. We are ending the last unit. So that means, look at this. We are ready for the next level everybody you see you did it i know that it wasn't easy but now you can see that it is not impossible now can you tell me some of the topics that we studied during this level which topics do you remember uh, advantage and disadvantage of e-commerce e-commerce exactly what else like your tax 
Mm-hmm. What else? Reporting speech. Ah, your favorite guy is reporting <laughs> speech. I'm not sure of that, but <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, do you think that reported speech was the most difficult topic during this level? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. It's confused. It's, mm, mix the the sentence sentences. I know. But is it impossible? No. 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 At the end, you did it. At the end, you were using the report of the speech. So you see, guys, remember that. When you are in the new level, and if you face a difficult topic, just remember, I could with the report of the speech. <laughs> so now I can with everything. All right? So... There will be topics that could be difficult, but any topic is impossible. Just try to do your best. All right. So, guys, the mission in level intermediate four is complete and the level is unlocked. All right. Did you finish the platform? Didn't you? Yes. yes, I did. I hope so. Um, yesterday I was checking some, well, today in the morning I was checking some of you finishing the platform. Thank you guys for helping each other. Unfortunately, um, I was working very early today, so that's why I couldn't answer in the group. But I could see that you were helping each other. So thank you a lot for that. Now, the topic that we are going to study today is this one. Challenges retail stores will face as e-commerce grows, okay? This is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading it, please. I will. Yes. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. At the end of the class, participants will learn how to use transitional addition and a review some of the most important topics started during the courses. Thank you. So we are going to use, yes, transitions of additions is the last topics that appears in the manual. But believe me that this topic is a piece of cake comparing with the report of the speech and the question tags, okay? And of course, we are going to review the most important topics studied during this course, all right? So um, before starting, I'm going to check attendance. So guys, when you listen to your names, say present, please. Um, Amanda Leonela Zamora. Ana Lorena Lovato. Boris Alexander Cortez. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Mauricio Menjiva. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present, teacher. Very good. Elias Neftali Martinez. Okay. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Very good. Irma Evelyn Rodriguez. Okay. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present, teacher. Thank you. Josman Atilio Serrano. All right. Kevin Alexander Perez. Present. Thank Teacher. you. All right. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Maria Jose Siguenza. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. All right. Oscar Alexis Lara. Present. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Carolina Molina. 
present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Present. Thank you. Cifrido Ernesto Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Pérez. And Andrea Yamilet Mendoza. Present. Very good. Excellent. Okay, let's start it. Let me share the presentation again. Okay, can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes. Yes, excellent. Okay, let's start reviewing a little bit what we started to, uh, well, what we were talking about yesterday. If you remember, we have been talking about how e-commerce is trying to substitute the brick and mortar stores. <laughs> yesterday, we were thinking, hmm, in the end, could e-commerce substitute the brick and mortar stores? Some of you said yes, some of you said no, and some of you said that maybe we'll substitute it, but not totally, right? So we are going to start this class, as always, speaking. Let's answer these questions. Let's discuss these questions with your classmates. And at the end, guys, you have to pay attention. <clears throat> I'm sorry. You have to pay attention to your classmates' answers. And depending on the way that as a group answer these questions, I want you to predict, okay? the future for the e-commerce in our country. Depending on the answers that you and your class may provide, you have to tell me, hmm, can we substitute brick and mortar stores or not? Okay? Is it clear, the activity, everyone? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me send the instructions and the questions on WhatsApp's group, All right? And please, as always, I want you guys to everybody participate, okay? I want to everybody talk. So let's go to the breakup rooms. Everybody just discuss the questions with your classmates and decide what will happen in the future with the commerce. Are you ready, everybody? Yes? I'm ready. Yeah. Okay, let's go to work. Hi. Yeah, man. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hello. I could yes. be better, said Kevin. <laughs> yes. I feel better other days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start. Have you ever visited a store website and later decide to buy an item? from their physical store? For me, yes. <laughs> I check the prices on the website and if the product is like I want, but I want I have to be sure the size or or maybe if they really have the correct model that I want. So I have to visit the physical store. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's my I'm sorry. Uh, some somebody can share the the message uh, in WhatsApp group. Be because in this moment I don't have a cell phone. Uh, can you share? I don't have uh here. Oh, okay. I don't have WhatsApp. <laughs> where, WhatsApp where the, in my computer. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Just just I, I just I, just I want to read the the sentence. Only, 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 only that. But no uh, the question is, 
if you if you check something in your website, so maybe you visit um uh, super selectors and you want to buy maybe oil and you see oil uh how much is the oil today uh three dollars and then you decide to go to the to the super selectors uh -huh, and, and buy it invite it there in, in the brick in the brick and mortar okay so if happened to you that situation Mm, uh, uh, I think almost um specific things uh, buy in online. Sorry, but yeah. uh, clouds, uh, shoes, and what else? Other things that you need to swear. Where? Sorry. Okay. It's only physical stores. Only physical stores. Yeah. Uh, what you buy uh, uh, in the website? Internet. Yes. In the ah, website. For example, in case for the cell phone and and ask. Uh, Accessories, I don't know, um, accessories. Mm. And I don't know what is the What kind of, of accessories? For the cell phone, for oh, the okay. car. Mm, yeah. it, 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 small things. If like, I want, sorry, I'm sorry. No, the I want if, to make sure that uh, the product uh they they have the product that I want to purchase. In my case it's the same. I always um check before before going to super selectors. I check it before in the web page. I prefer looking looking if there is the thing that I'm looking for. But just that. Okay, so let's go for the second one. Um, have you ever received marketing emails inviting you to visit a store to get promotions and discounts? Have you accepted the invitation? Well, actually, yes. Uh, for some offers like Black Friday, actually, I, I received some emails last year. And yeah, I did. I accepted some, some of there, some of those, sorry. Yeah. And how about you, guys? In my case, I don't check it. I don't check the email uh, so usual. So maybe I get that emails, but they go di directly to spam, the spam section. <laughs> spam. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, but I think that that um it's um it's uh, a common practice uh, in some stores because sometimes when you pay like in a, in a clothes store they ask you your email and they say you like we can send you or or promotions and the discounts and and they ask for your email so in my case i i did i accepted this invitation and when i see the offer i go to the store to to check if it's true and if something um if i see something that i like so a comment that the call it camel 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 dot com and you what? can search yeah <laughs> come camel camel dot com it's <laughs> fake okay uh, <laughs> uh, this platform uh, recorded the prices of the products uh, 
sell, sell, selling, no. Vendidos. How do you say? Sold. Sell, sold in Amazon. You can search oh. the, the price in the time. And, uh -huh. and, and find the best prices of the product. Okay. That's right. In fact, I I was receiving many mails about a uh, promotion for each website when that I visit before. So I think that is a, a form. Uh, they have two promotion uh, website and the uh, a source. It's another way to reach more customers. Yes. Yes. If the promotion is good, uh, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Sample, for example, and and a different product and 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 EPA. The the bank the bank Uscatlan is a uh, uh, the send email uh, the promotion in discount the the different product. Okay. Uh, you decide uh, to to get to to get the promotion. Carlos. Um, I accept. Okay. I accept the invitation and promotion. Okay. Okay. In my case, yes, uh, I received the promotion the Simon in, in email. And they they told me um, um I have a lot of money the credit <laughs> yeah <laughs> always yes uh, uh, but I don't accept because uh, <laughs> after after coming the uh, I I how do you say Interests. I don't know. <laughs> uh, exactly. Yeah, be for the reason I don't accept the invitation. Okay. Okay. It's it's, it's uh, exciting uh, uh, to to see uh, a lot of money uh, disposition. Yeah. Yeah. But spend the other. Things, but it's, a, it's an excellent promotion uh, for yeah. for us. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes we have we have a pizza hut. Uh, the prom the promotion about the uh English um uh I forgot the name. Uh, some uh, academy uh, sent me uh email email uh, about the different uh, promotion for to study English. It's a lot as mail. So okay, uh, I oh um only I see and no more. That's okay. Uh, uh always. Uh, the bank about the how do you say prestamo? Um, credit loan. Credit. Loan. Yes. Loan. Okay, loan. about the loan, about the loan. So uh, in that moment, I I think uh, more money. Okay, it's a great appeal, but. Uh, All right, time's up. We are going to go back to the main room.
let's wait for your classmates. They are still in the breakup rooms. Time's up, time's up, everyone. Let's go back. All right, all right, time's up, time's up. I was listening to very interesting answers. Very good. Okay, time's up, everyone. Could you answer all of the questions? Yes, no? All right, could you answer all of the questions, everybody? Or not all of them? Almost. Almost. Almost to yeah. Yeah. In the last minute, yes. <laughs> nice. Okay, before sharing the results about what happened during that um, interesting questions, before that, guys, we are going to take uh, the survey that we take every end of the course. What? So, the answer for survey. Do you remember that? <laughs> yes, I it received an most... email like today or yesterday. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to explain for the ones who maybe don't know, the ones that are news. I'm going to send this link. Also, the link is already on WhatsApp, but I'm going to resend it. This is the Insaforce survey, okay? It's necessary to everybody do it, please. Everyone, okay? So let's start step by step. In the first questions, we need the order, a specific number. So everybody, right now, I'm sending the link on WhatsApp's group. So everybody, please open up the link for the survey. I already sent it on WhatsApp's groups. Okay. Uh, well, give me a second, give me a second. Uh, I'm going to resend it again. Sorry, give me a second. I'm going to send it on WhatsApp's group, but also I'm sending it here in the chat, okay? So the first things that you need to do is open up the link, please, everybody. Open the link. And you need to write this number exactly the way that I'm going to send it. That is the first things that you are going to write there, okay? Okay. If you want, you can just copy and paste it. In the first Should question, hear, okay, sorry. In the first question, when you go to the survey, the first question says uh, that you need to type this, la orden de inicio. La orden de inicio is the number that I just sent on WhatsApp's group. Okay. Ese, ese número, ese código, tal y como se los he enviado, just copy and paste, please, and put it in the end. Don't change anything. Así con los guiones, with everything, just copy and paste it, please. Right? I already sent it on WhatsApp's group. If you want, I'm going to send it here in the chat too. Okay? That number, you have to paste it in the first question. In the question number two, well, that is easy. You have to write your full name. Please, everybody, your full name exactly as in your doing, okay? Exactly the way that appears in your doing, that is the full name that you have to write. In the question number three, you have to write your email address. Please, the email address that you use here in this program. 
the email address that you provided here, right? Then in the question number four, your phone number. That is what you need. So basically in these questions is just your personal information. In my case, teacher, mm -hmm. I have a phone number for calls and a phone number for my WhatsApp. Which mm -hmm. one is more important? Uh, which one do you have uh, registered here in the program? Uh, the both. I got both of them. The ones that you use on WhatsApp, that's the one that you can add. Okay. The ones that you register on WhatsApp's group, that is the one that you can add. Oscar, pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a question here. Yes, and The number nine, uh, name oh. of the provider. Yes. To get the capacitation in English corporative, right? Real yes. international. Yes, I'm about there. There are in the if you scroll down, well, all of those questions is your personal information. Then if we scroll down and go to the question number nine, is the next name. I'm sending it in WhatsApp group two. Okay, so again, pay attention. This is in the question number nine. All right, the answer is Inglés Corporativo. I'm sending it in the chat, so, right? Mm -hmm. That information goes in the question number nine. I'm sending it here in the chat too. That is in the question number nine. In the question number 10, says the name of this course, okay? That is in the question number 10. The name of the course is Inglés Intermedio Módulo 5, okay? I'm sending that information here in the chat too. Then at the end in the question 11, that is your opinion, okay? Read carefully the statement and you have to score according to your opinion. In the question number 12, it has the date, la fecha en que iniciamos. I'm sending it on WhatsApp groups just in case that you don't remember. I'm sending it in the chat. And in the next question is la fecha en la que estamos finalizando, right? I can see some of your classmates already finished. Pretty good. Important, everybody remember, when you finish, you just have to click here in submit. And you have to take a screenshot and send it on WhatsApp's group with your full name to prove that you already sent the survey. Follow the example of your classmates. Some of your classmates already sent the screenshots. Excellent job, guys. Thank you. Teacher, sorry, what is the name of the course? Oh, the name of the course uh, is, is um, look, Inglés Intermedio Módulo oh. C. Right. Okay. Yes. That is in the question number 10. Inglés Intermedio <laughs> Módulo 5. You can copy and paste it from the chat. I send it in the chat. Remember at the end in the question um, 15 and 16, you can write information if you want. So like if you want to, or if there are another courses that you feel interested in, 
for example, Excel or something. I don't know. And if you have any comments, all right, you can write it here. Okay. If you have questions, please just let me know. Don't forget to take the screenshot, send it on WhatsApp's groups. Please don't forget to add your full name, okay? I can see one, two. Around 10 people already finished. Excellent, very good. It's necessary to everybody take the survey, please. If you have questions, let me know, please. <laughs> Don't forget to add the dates when this course started. We started on August 9, and we are ending today, September 12. Very good, I can see a lot of people already finished, excellent. I can see 15 people already send it. All right. Please, everybody, do it, please. Remember that the survey has to be done today. All right. This survey is something that is the first verified. So everybody has to do it. If you have doubts, any questions, please let me know. Go ahead, go ahead. There are some people that haven't finished yet. Please complete the survey. Pretty good. Okay, I can see around 18 people already sent it. I think most of you already finished. I'm going to give you a couple of more minutes, okay? Complete it, please. If you have sure. questions, just let me sure. Yes. Uh, 9 de agosto iniciamos. I'm sorry? 9 de agosto iniciamos. Yes. Y el 12 de 9 terminamos. Exactly. We started 9 de agosto de 2023, everybody, and we finished 12 de septiembre del 2023. Right? Five weeks. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If you have questions, please let me know. Remember, everybody has to send the screenshot. It's necessary to everybody at the end. Take the screenshot, please. And send it on WhatsApp's group. Don't forget to add your full names. Teacher, you, do you need a screenshot? I'm sorry? Did you, you say you need a screenshot? Yes. Do you okay. need to send it? Mm -hmm. 
follow the example. Your some of your classmates already sent the screenshot on WhatsApp group. When you click in send or submit, you just take the screenshot and send it on WhatsApp group. Don't forget to add your full names, everybody. Okay, um, did everybody finish? Yes? Finish. Finish, okay, pretty good. Everybody, I think I can see 20 people, I guess. Pretty good. All right, so thank you everybody for sending the survey. Thank you, very good job, very good. All right. Thank you, excellent job. Now we are going to continue with the class, all right? And let's continue. We were talking about the idea if e-commerce can substitute the brick and mortar stores or not. So according to your classmates' answers, what do you think, guys? Is it possible to substitute the brick and mortar stores or not? I think the chair, uh, the e-commerce maybe is the future, mm -hmm. but I I think both uh, models uh, always be. We always 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 will be. Ah, okay. I think many many people like or en enjoy it, go to shopping. Mm -hmm. Many many people. Uh, prefer uh, some uh, prefer uh, on Saturday Sunday go go to shopping. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, yes, e-commerce is 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 good in the in the future. But I think never dial a, a physical store. Ah, so brick and mortar stores will always exist. However, I think, I, I think uh, yes, because uh, there are some products uh, I need to check physical. Definitely. Mm -hmm. For example, a, a furniture uh, uh, item, personal item. Uh -huh. uh, uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and actually that's true. E-commerce is growing a lot. Actually, after the pandemic, the e-commerce has increased a lot. So, but as your classmate said, maybe the brick and mortars will always exist. Mm, but maybe. The rest of you guys, what do you think? Do you agree with him? Or do you have any other idea? What will happen in the future with the brick and mortar stores? Uh -huh. As as we said yesterday, I think this will be like a mix mm -hmm. services because um there is not a there is not affordable if the brick and mortar disappear because this is like uh, needed for everybody. But they need to improve the technologies and the resources about the customer client service. Mm -hmm. Okay. Client service. Very good. Anyone else? Uh huh. No more opinions. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah. Now, it is important, guys, to give our opinions, okay, to express our ideas. And when we are expressing our ideas, it is also necessary to include some vocabulary for it. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. Yes? Okay, so in order to express or to add more ideas, we are going to see this vocabulary that is transitions of addition. So what is that? Look at the box. 
Imagine, guys, the transitions of addition. What is that? I need a volunteer, please, for reading the definition. Only one, please. Who wants to read? Me. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Indicate that the writer is using a second idea to depend or clarify the first one. Thank you. So what is the function for transition of addition? As its own name says, they add. Okay. They add more information. And these transitions are very useful when you are trying to clarify your ideas, to clarify your points. You want to give examples. You want to give more details, all right? Let's see the first example when we are using transitions of additions. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the first example. Um, do it. Go ahead. Um, there are disadvantages to e-commerce like limited customer service. In addition, customers have to wait for their products to arrive after ordering. Thank you. So I have one idea over here. And then I have extra information over here. And both ideas are connected by one transition. What is a transition? In addition. In addition. Now, when we are using transitions, it's very important, the punctuation, right? What do we have before the transition in addition? What do we have here? Semicolon. A semicolon. And then, do I have capital letter or lowercase? Lowercase. Very good. And what do we have later? Coma. 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 So when you are writing an email, or imagine that you have to write an email, a very important message to your supervisor or to a customer, and you have to do it in English, remember, guys, punctuation, it's very important. If you want to use transitions, remember, you have different options. One of the first option is add a semicolon, then the transition, and after the transition, don't forget the comma. That is like the basic rule, right? Let's see the other example. Volunteer for reading the sure, second Sure, teacher, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, what will be the... Uh, the the translation that uh, uh, what will be the, the, the Spanish word for in addition? Ah, all right. In addition, guys, if you want to translate it like literal, it is not going to be like, ah, in addition, not really. The translation is like when we say además. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, in addition, besides, furthermore, moreover, all of those ones can be translated in the same way. Okay? Okay. Pretty good. Okay, volunteer, please, for reading the second example. Are synonyms. They are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Next one, please. I can't teach. Go ahead. Uh, store retailers generate more money than e shops. Besides, a small online company are bought by big companies. Thank you. So, look, I have another transition. Now I have besides. Look, when we are talking, sometimes when we are or when we want to add more information, 
we typically use only the word and, right? So we say, ah, stores, retailer, generates more money than e-shops and small online companies are bought by big companies. So most of the time, this is the transitions that we use. And, but that is not the only one, okay? So the idea is to increase our vocabulary and use different words. Now, when you're speaking, it's pretty easy to use them. The difficult thing, and when you have to pay a lot of attention is when you are typing. So again, what do we have before the transition? Semicolon. Mm -hmm. Then we are finishing with? A coma. A coma. Do I need capital letters? No. Not really, right? So there is another option talking about punctuation and is the last example. Please volunteer for reading the last example. Um, me? Yes, go ahead. E-commerce is convenient. Moreover, it allows retailers to offer more products than the ones in the stores. Thank you. Can you see any difference over here? Uh huh. Yes or no? Only the words. <laughs> Only the, the transition. <laughs> All right. Now we are using moreover. The is a synonym. The translation is the same. However, before moreover, hmm, what do I have here? A point. Ah, do we have a semicolon? No. Not really. So we have those options. You can use the semicolon or you can use a dot. Now, after the point, what do I have here? Hmm. Capital letter. Capital letter. That is something that you have to keep in mind, okay? After the semicolon, you don't need capital letter. But if you have a period, yes, you need the capital letter. And don't forget always after the transition, I need, what is it? Coma. A coma, okay? So this is basically guys, the most important punctuations rules. Remember, when you are speaking, it's pretty easy, right? We don't use punctuations or punctuation symbols when we are speaking. This is important when we are typing, when you are writing something like an email, like an essay, right? A message. So please don't forget the importance of punctuation. Is it clear? The punctuation rules for the transitions of additions, everyone? Yes? No, it's clear. Yeah, are you sure? Ready for an exam? Ready. Uh -huh. Only once is ready. And the rest of you? 50 feet. Oh, ready. 50. <laughs> okay, look, these ones are not the only transitions. Actually, we have a lot of. And let me show you some of the most common ones. These words, you can use it again to add more information, right? So we have additionally, if you want to use additionally, remember, and with a comma, all of these ones, okay? If you want to use furthermore, remember, you can use a dot at the beginning and end it with a comma. If you want to use moreover, perfect. You can use semicolon before, end it with a comma, but don't forget that in that case, you need lowercase. It's not necessary a capital letter, okay? We have also this one in addition, 
also that is one of the most common ones likewise again guys the translation it's basically the same okay we have the sites similarly not only but also this one actually sounds pretty good and if you see it's separated so how can we use it pretty simple imagine if i ask you guys what are your plans for the weekend? Oh, teacher, during the weekend, I have a lot of things to do, okay? You can say, I will, um, I don't know, what will you do during the weekend, guys? Sleep? Any idea? <laughs> I install a new door in my bathroom. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But my plans okay you can say you know what teacher my plans are not only sleep <laughs> but also uh-huh what is the other idea mm -hmm. maybe i take a shower <laughs> but also take a shower okay look this is a way that we can use this phrase, not only, but also. In this case, we are not going to use the punctuations because basically we are using different connectors. Because if you see, I have the transition but here, and then I have also. So this structure breaks a little bit the rule. All right so remember when you use not only but also you are like giving two options imagine that i say hey everybody um are you ready for the next level and you say aha teacher i am not only ready but also i'm excited or i can ask guys did you finish the platform a teacher, I <laughs> uh, not only finished the platform, but also I got a perfect score. Understood the way that we can use not only, but also? Yes, teacher. Yes. We never forget about a teacher example. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the idea, guys, is that you start using them, okay? Again, I know that this one also is like one of the most common ones. Also, and, and we are just repeating the same, but now that we already know more addition, so let's try to use them. Let's try to avoid also, and instead of also, you can use not only, but also, likewise, moreover. Those words sound like very nice, very formal, and that indicates that you are intermediate level, okay? Did you copy these transitions, everyone? Yes, teacher. Yes, everybody, did you copy them? Yes, teacher. All right. Yes, teacher. Okay, now let's have a practice. I have here some sentences. We need to complete the sentences always talking about e-commerce. And I want you guys to decide to use one of the uh, words in the box, but always respecting the punctuation. So if you remember the first one, Email marketing is very important to e-commerce. Da, da 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 Customers usually open their emails even if they only include advertisements. So what do you think? Which word can we put there? Maybe in addition. Okay. If I want to use in addition, can you see just like this? Okay, in addition, is that correct? 
<clears throat> no. Okay. No. So what do I need first? You need to first put, semicolon. Uh, semicolon. Ah, all right. Semicolon. Do I need capital letter? No. Okay. Lowercase. Lowercase. You need a comma on the end. Ah, and a comma. Pretty good. That's the one. And remember, all of them means the same. So if you don't want to use in addition, no problem. You can use moreover. You can use besides. It's not a problem at all. Now, I need a volunteer, please, for reading the sentence number two. I will do it. Go ahead. Create a lot of original content. Um, moreover. <laughs> okay, moreover. Only like that? No, we need uh, maybe a point. Okay, let's use a point. At the start and a capital letter. Mm, okay. And a comma at the end. Okay. So, moreover, continue reading, please. Moreover, make you sure to diversify your presence in social media. Perfect. So, you see, you can use different transitions, all right? You just have to respect the punctuation. Now, let's try to use not only these words, but also the ones that we have here. So, volunteer, please, for reading the sentence number three and try to use another transition. Go ahead. Volunteer? Who wants to try? Only one, please. Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. User-generated content is a good way to build interaction with consumers. Mm-hmm. Likewise, okay. Advertisement. Can I, sorry, can I write it just like this? Uh, likewise, maybe with a comma. And before that, um, uh, you Semicolon, perfect. Do I need capital letter? No. Very good. Okay, continue reading, please. Likewise. Likewise, advertisement will not cost much on your end. Pretty good. Excellent. So if you see, this is the way that we can use transition of addition. Easy, guys. Remember, these words are useful to add extra information okay the last one volunteer for reading please only one <laughs> come on I can, I can. it's you, common for e-commerce stores to sell items to people all over the world um fourth more okay customer Feel welcome with translation features integrated to your e-commerce service. All right. Which punctuation syllables will you use? Commas. I'm sorry? Commas. All right. I need a comma. What else? The first comma. No, the... Um, I don't know how to say that in comma. <laughs> Semicolon. Right. Semi... Semicolon. Thank Go you. on, that is the one. Excellent. Look, so again, the difficult thing is when you are writing. I know that punctuation symbols is difficult because even in Spanish, sometimes we sure. don't practice it. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, uh, may you write a semicolon? I don't know. How... Exactly like you listen, it's semicolon. <laughs> it's okay. exactly like Thank that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So again, everyone, this is difficult, but just when you are typing, if you are speaking, I mean, it's pretty easy, right? You don't need to 
say punctuation symbols when you are speaking. Now, is it clear the transitions, everyone? Yes? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Good. Because now that we already practice grammar, it's time to practice speaking. So we are going to speak using the transitions. All right. If you remember yesterday, we were talking about Netflix versus the movie theater. So I wanted to talk to your classmates and I wanted to investigate what does your classmate prefer? If they prefer movie theater or if they prefer streaming. So let's go and talk to your classmate. First of all, ask them what kind of movie um, do they like? What kind of movie do they prefer? What kind of movie do they think that is the best one? Then ask them, do you prefer movie theater or do you prefer streaming? If they say movie theater, okay, you have to explain why. And when you are explaining, you have to use transitions of addition. For example, you can say, well, eh, I like horror movies. That's my favorite genre because I consider that are very interesting. Besides, they are not boring. I prefer movie theater uh, because the sound is much better. Eh, you can enjoy not only the effect, but also the vision, things like that. You have to explain. Is it clear what you will do right now? Yes? Everybody, is it clear, the activity? Yes, it's clear. Are you sure? Yes, yes. everybody? We'll, yes. We will try. <laughs> now, I want you please to pay attention to your classmates because later when we come back here, I can ask you, for example, I can say, okay, Amanda, what did your classmate said? Ah, teacher, I was talking to Mauricio. He likes action movies. He prefers streaming because da, 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 da. Okay? So, you are going to tell me what your classmates prefer. At the end, we are going to see which one wins, if movie theater or streaming, okay? I'm sending the indications on WhatsApp's group. Again, everybody, this is our last day. So please enter to the breakup rooms. Everybody participate, please. This is the moment where I want you to feel free to talk, okay? Let me just create a groups, one second. We will be working in teams of four. There will be only some groups of three. And if you are in a group where your classmates are not participating, let me know so I will switch you to another team. Are you ready, everybody? Yes? Pretty good, let's go to work. Andrea, sufrido, hello. Hello, Carlos. Sorry, I was on mute. No worries. Andrea, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay. Um...
Okay, I will share my opinion about uh, Netflix streaming platforms or non or theaters. Uh, I love to go to the to the to the theater, but uh, is easy and cheaper to me use a streaming platform. So in that case, I rather a streaming platform. And about my uh about my uh movies gender. Uh I like sci-fi and horror movies and horror movies. I would like to go all the time to the theater to see him just for the sound, but in my case, I, I have to to see in my in my house. And sci-fi, uh I don't know why, but but all the time I love it. And what about you? Okay. I will take the turn. Um, in my case, maybe I prefer theater, but it's like the same thing that you say. It's expensive, so I also have a streaming platform, but is the uh, movies really worth it? Uh, I go to the cinema, like for some action movies or some blockbuster movies. Wow. O caos eh, de eh, in, in Spanish es de el niño de pijamas el niño de pijamas yeah, de that one, that one. very nice I, I don't know the the title of the movie in English but but I know Le, what are you Lisa de Schiller Lisa de Schiller also did, did you did you did you see the, this picture did this movie Lisa yeah. de Schiller Lisa de Schiller Yes, yes, I see. It's I very see. sad. It's very sad. This, this, this movie. Okay, Pamela, what about you? What do you think? We're we're talking about the first question. What kind of movie do you like best? Um, Osman answered that he likes epic movies and historical movies. Yes. Okay. In my case. Um, I like um, documental movies. I like, like Osman said, like history or the real life, a biography of important people. I like that kind of of movies, and also <laughs> I like um this kind of fantastic movies like um harry potter the lord of the rings the witcher and that 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 kind of movies like very fantastic so that's the um, the two of my favorite kind of mu movies Sounds interesting. Uh, who miss? Who uh, Jose? Jose Salvador? What? About... But the, but I will. Uh, I prefer that movies that has a uh, based on real life, uh, but in mm -hmm. actual like uh, Munich. Ah. Uh, 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 have Please. you ever have you ever seen that that movie? No, uh, what is about? It, no. It, it, makes, it makes a reference about the James Olympic in the 17th, and they, the, uh, the Germans, I, I don't know, but I remember that they were uh, Germans, uh, caused, uh, I don't know how to say it, uh, Terrorista, but yeah, but they attack. Uh, sorry, 
It's terrorist, I think. Terrorist. I don't know. I don't know. Terrorist. Okay. Uh, uh, terrorist. Like the basin is the yes, yeah. like. true. History is true. Yeah. Yeah. I prefer that that movie. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. I just, uh, this week, uh, I saw uh, Oppenheimer. It, it oh, was interesting. Thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Because you you see the, the, the videos on YouTube. And they make the same reference in, in the movie, but they also uh, give you a, they give you an, uh, I don't know, an ex a point exactly where the videos doesn't show you. That's it. That's because I, I like the, the, the movie is in real life. I saw, I saw a movie the last week named uh, Enigma Code. I think in English was imit the imitation game or anything like that. But yes, this is based on a true story about the British and German uh, war. war. Yeah. Uh, cool. Also, uh, we were we were brave. It's 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 a. Uh, Brave, uh, brave. We we were heroes. Sorry, we were heroes. It's about a Vietnam War, a uh, where Vietcom uh, killed all French. Uh huh. So after that, uh, uh, the Americans. War. Yeah, yeah. After that, the the, the American soldier uh, came to that country, and they thought the that war. The, uh, it was easy, but it wasn't, no. That's that's a movie, I like it. Mm -hmm. And do you prefer to this in theater, in movie theaters or in, in the streaming? Mm -hmm. It depends. It depends. Uh, when was the Mother's Day? Uh, we went with my family to celebrate uh, watching a movie like uh, Mario Bros., I enjoy it. Like a family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Like a good movie. Yeah, I'm, I enjoy it, but I will prefer my my movies, no? Real life. Mm -hmm. Two options. Yeah. But do you prefer in yeah. movie theaters or in streaming for you? With your favorite movie? Mm -hmm. the streaming. The streaming. Yeah, it's raining. I think it's a better option to documentary films. Yeah. Because you can meet uh, different people there and you can oh uh you can eat uh popcorn. It's a good no. it's excellent for me. All the time, all all the <laughs> the the things where you can do it. In in a movie theater, do you you want? Uh, uh there are <laughs> more experience, <laughs> but yeah. I can tell you right now. Okay, I like the movie theater because uh, you can see a movie with the. A high definition and uh, excellent sound. Mm -hmm. You pay for the spirits. Brilliant. Okay. 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 And the last question: Why do you like streaming? Well, I like it because I could stay at home and watch it and watch whatever I want at the time I want. And if I need to go to the bathroom, I could just put a, a, a pause and go. Not like yes. the, the theater because if I want to go to the bathroom, I can just pause it for everyone, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's, That's because um... I like why I, I like it. <laughs> nice. Um, I think... The, the the same uh, you can 
put a, a pause of the movie and can go to make another thing and and you you don't spend a lot of money for a popcorn <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. okay you can buy a not much cola only five dollars the shop yeah no, nice and you it's not uh, the same quality of sound that you had on the movie theater but in but like Pamela said I prefer streaming because it it's cheaper and you have you can have a really really good time with your whole family and even your pets <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can share even with them things that you cannot do on on the movie theater right <laughs> because it's because it's it's not pet friendly <laughs> yes <laughs> And what about uh, Edwin? <laughs> Edwin, are you there? <laughs> yes. Uh, Do you pay yes, attention to uh, what, what questions we were doing? <laughs> yes, but you like streaming. Oh, okay. Mm. But I can repeat it if you oh. want. The, the question is, the first one, uh, why do you like the movie, like the movie theater? And the other one okay. is why do you like uh, streaming? So you can, if you like one or another, well, you can tell us the, uh, the what, what you like about one, one of them or the two as you like. <laughs> I start with the, uh, what the light stream that is about you are uh, talking about in this moment. So in my case, I like it because as you said, um, this is uh, a cheaper. This is cheaper. Um, you don't need to go out your home. But when I want to go out with my friends and stay in other place that is in my home, uh, I like to go to the theater and watch a movie. All right, all right, time's up again, time's up again. Let's go back to the main room. Let's wait for your classmates. Time's up everyone. All right, all right. Well, let's wait for everyone. Some of your classmates are still in the breakup rooms. All right, time's up everybody. Let's go back. All right, I was listening to very interesting answers. Very interesting movies, all right. Now let's see if you paid attention to your classmates. First of all, let me ask you guys, did your classmate answer using transitions of addition? Yes or not? Mm, I was listening few but very few transitions <laughs> my goodness so remember the idea is not just to speak the idea is try to apply 
the vocabulary, but not everybody was applying the vocabulary. My goodness. Let's see if you paid attention. Uh, let me start with Rafael. Hello, Rafael. Hello, teacher. Okay, Rafael, what kind of movie the, do your classmates like? Oh, well, uh, they like um, uh, um, adventure movies, uh, for example, Eulise. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, uh, Ricardo likes uh, action movies. Okay. And do they prefer streaming or do they prefer the movie theater? I prefer the action movies too and the science fiction genre. All right. No, but the question is, do your classmates prefer <laughs> go to the movie theater or to watch the movie oh, streaming? Sorry. Um, they, I think they prefer... Uh, is uh well is the 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 opinion was divided because uh Ulisse uh, preferred the movie theater and and Ricardo um I think they uh, he preferred uh as, as streaming how do you say how do you say that streaming a streaming Mm. A streaming service. And how about you? Yes. Uh, well, I prefer uh, streaming. <laughs> okay. I stream it too. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, very good, very good. Let's continue in another team. Da -da 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 -da. Wilbur. Wilbur, what does, well, what do your classmates prefer? Streaming or movie theater? Well, it's divided, uh, opinion divided also, uh, like uh, Carlos Ernesto prefers uh, goes to the theater cinema, uh, Oscar, I don't remember, Oscar? <laughs> you don't remember yeah. his answer? Yeah, Oscar. Yes, Oscar. Oscar prefers uh, streaming. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Amanda prefers a uh, home theater. I don't remember. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh. Ah, okay. very good. Yeah, I and prefer also a uh, streaming. Ah, mm -hmm. interesting. So we have like divided opinions. Yeah, and we explain uh, uh, the reason for uh, each one. Okay, why do you personally, why do you prefer streaming? Uh, it's because uh, I can see it any, in any time I can, I want it. Uh -huh. Because, uh, imagine, I am in a home theater, but I want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I, 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 I lost, uh, I made a, uh, I might lost a, a, a good uh, space uh, where I can see <laughs> and understand the movie. No? You cannot pause it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I not, cannot pause it. So that's the why I prefer the streaming. Yeah, that's a good reason. Thank you, Wilbur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beside Amanda, recommend us a kaleidoscope series. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, okay. Yeah, I was listening to some of the movies that you liked. Like, I like it too. Okay, let me continue asking to Nelson. Hello, Nelson. Okay, I think he's not there. Okay, Mauricio, tell us. In your personal opinion, which one do you prefer? Um, to be honest, I love two ways to watching movies and home theaters and streaming and platforms. But if we think about the time and if you have to go, I'd rather the streaming platforms. 
so my teammates uh, they loves to uh, the streaming platform for the same reason and about the kind of movies we prefer to see uh see Fred and me we are a uh, we have the similar um likes similar likes thank you mm -hmm. uh about sci-fi movies and he prefers something uh, action in my case horror but uh, andrea uh, she's like my wife <laughs> she loves comedy and comedy and which which other i don't remember <laughs> <Please> help me <laughs> She prefers romantic movies. Ah, romantics. Ah, romantics. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Romantics and comedy. Okay. Yes. Nice. Interesting. Remember, pay attention to your classmate. That's important. Okay. And in the last group, let's see. Osman, tell me about your classmates. Do they prefer streaming or do they prefer the cinema? Okay, teacher, some of them, some of them prefer go to the theater, movie theater, uh, and the others prefer, uh, how do you say, trans, stream, streaming. Streaming. Streaming, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, some classmates said prefer to streaming because it's cheaper, comfortable, comfortable, uh, uh, what else? Uh, also, we we can we can watch. Uh, well, the time is 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 more adequate for them. Okay. Uh, and in your personal opinion, uh, I I like so much. Uh, go to the movie theater, but I know it's expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it is crowd, crowd, crowded. It's, it's crowded. I don't like place crowded. Uh, crowded. Excuse me. I can, I can say this word. Uh, <laughs> crowded. Uh, crowded. Yes. Mm -hmm. I prefer uh, to be at to be at home. Uh, is is better. It's better for me. Okay. Uh, I I like watch a movie. Sit down in my. In my furniture, uh, take take a take a drink. Uh, that's all. All right, thank you. Excellent job, guys. So, as a conclusion, we have divided opinions, right? Some of you prefer the cinema. Some of you prefer the streaming. Now, important: try to use the transitions. Okay. The idea is to increase our vocabulary, but not only memorize the words, we need to apply them. So when you are speaking, try to use the transitions of additions. Understood, everyone? Yes? Understood, teacher. Yes? You shared a page with the um, connections, with connectors in the same page could you put again sure um i think is this one yes okay copy them so everyone copy the vocabulary please and try to apply the vocabulary try to memorize it but try to use it Remember that the idea is to sound like intermediate level. Think about this. Basic level, they only use and. And. And also. And. So, mm -mm, we are not basic. We are intermediate level. So, we need to try to use like more interesting words. Okay, please. Copy the words. Any questions so far, everybody, about the transitions? 
No questions? All right. Copy them, please. Let me know when you finish. And we are going to practice something different now. Copy them, everybody. Copy the transitions. Keep in mind the vocabulary, please. Yeah. Let me know when you finish, please. Don't teacher, thank you. You ready? Yes. Okay, let's continue then. Now, guys, I have a question for you. And it says, how much do you remember from the topic that we studied during this level, guys? How much do you remember? 100%? 90%? 85%. 85%. Okay, acceptable. What else? Uh -huh. I think I'm like Dory right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's why I decided to paste this picture. <laughs> uh -huh, guys, and you? How much do you remember? Yes, I think around 85% still. Cool. Imagine that, that if we had an exam, like a general test, what do you think? What would be your score? I identify with Dory. <laughs> no way, don't say that. <laughs> no, just kidding. I need Maybe. to repeat it from <laughs> Maybe number one. Five or ninety percent. Guys, don't let me think that you want to repeat intermediate five. <laughs> okay. So let's have a quick review, okay, about some of the most important topics that we studied. And let's start with your favorite topic. Yeah. The powerful reported speech. Do you remember this topic? Of course. Yeah. Yes. It's your favorite, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, teacher. I, <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it is not impossible. You already memorized this topic. Let's have a quick practice, okay? Let's see some sentences and just tell me what did she say. Remember, if I have a sentence in simple present, I need to report it in which grammar tense? Simple past. If the sentence is in simple past, past perfect is in the past perfect. The past perfect. If I have present perfect, mm, past uh, perfect. In the past. it's always in the past perfect. If I have future using will, in the future hypothetical, we use. Oh. Good, that's the one. Okay, let's have a practice. Let's complete this exercise. We are going to do it together. Yeah. And I can still change your scores, everyone. And maybe we can see each other again in the intermediate five. Okay, <laughs> next one. Okay, my sister isn't well what did she say oh my sister wasn't well she ah. said that her sister yeah, wasn't sister well was <laughs> be careful okay i'm going to write it right here because of the space so she said that can i say my sister no her no her sister wasn't very good well good like this? Yes. Yes, like that. You see, guys, easy or difficult? Easy. That one, easy. <laughs> it's a piece of cake. Okay, let me ask individually this one. Let me pick some people here. Hmm. Okay. 
Amanda, eh, Carlos, Ernesto. Well, Kevin already said the first one, so Osman. Okay, guys, let me know when you're ready. So remember, the first things that you need to do is to identify the, the grammar tense and then switch. Let me see, I think I can give more. Let me pick someone else. Andrea, okay. <clears throat> so guys, whenever you're ready, let me know, please. Hmm. Me sure. Okay, go ahead. Uh, you wouldn't come back. Okay, she told me that. Uh -huh. Told me that you wouldn't come back. You wouldn't? Can you repeat? You wouldn't? Wouldn't, wouldn't. Uh huh. Yeah, come back. Come back. Okay, everybody, what do you think? She told me that you wouldn't come back. Is Maybe she. Right? Yeah. Maybe she. She. Because okay. if someone said, I won't come back, it's about, in this case, she she told that. Exactly. Just imagine in this case that I, right? Hey, guys, I won't come back. So, ¿qué dijo la teacher? Ah, la teacher dijo que tú no she ibas a regresar o que ella. Yeah. So, we say? She. She. Mm. But the rest of the sentence... It's the same. Totally good. Very good. Thank you, Carlos. Very good job. Who's next? Amanda? Osman, Andrea? He said, he said that he uh, was calling. Okay. He said that he was calling. Was calling? Calling me. Calling me. Are you sure? No. <laughs> Maybe it would be have called. How called? I thought the sentence is in past. Past perfect. It's okay. Perfect. Use past perfect. And what would be the sentence then? He had. Had. had he had called. Called me. Called. Yeah. Called me. So can I say he said that he had called me. Okay. Yes. 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 Look at this one. Remember the rules. If I have a sentence in simple past, we need to change it into the past. Perfect. What is the structure of the past perfect? Add, um, there um, is there in verb in past and simple past. In past parts. This sentence is. This sentence teacher uh, gets me conf some confused because I imagine that the sentence says, I call you by magic uh, is between two people. Uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, Osman and Carlos, they are talking. Mm -hmm. no? I know, I know. In this case, guys, because we don't have the full context, it's because of that that it's difficult for us to identify if we need to change the subject or not. However, in the real life, if we listen to the conversation, for example, as Wilbur says, imagine que yo estoy escuchando a Kevin y a Osman hablar, se me va a ser super fácil saber si tengo que cambiar el sujeto o no porque sé específicamente qué persona fue la que dijo la oración. ¿Ok? In this moment is difficult porque no tenemos un contexto. No sé quiénes son los que están hablando, por eso se hace difícil. All right? But in the real life, it will be easier. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. Ok, next one. Osman or Andrea, who's next? Hey, teacher. Ok, go ahead. Uh, he, said, he said that 
he, he has found, found a wallet. Okay, he has found a wallet. What do you think, everybody? Is that correct? Yes or no? Well, it is correct. Look, what happens if I have a sentence in the present perfect? The same. Let's change it into the past perfect. Simple as that. Okay, very good. Thank you, Osman. Andrea, are you ready? Yes. Um, he told me that he didn't like fish. He didn't like fish. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Totally. If I have simple present, I need to change the sentence into simple past. Past. Pretty good. Easy or difficult? The present for uh, the the recorded speech. Uh, the number four just for me is a little bit difficult. The number four. Yes, and the situation is I I, I forget uh, the what I have to change in that ah. case. Mm -hmm. But only that the rule is clear, but just that. Yes, just remember, present perfect, always past perfect. Past perfect. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yes? in, in, in this case, uh, I, I can see the ver the, the pronoun is I. Uh, is contract uh, with the verb have. Mm -hmm. I the think... Either is the same as we say I have. I have. Uh -huh. I, have. I think... Uh, in this case, uh, we we had to change on on only only the verb. How mm -hmm. is in present? We need to change in past. Exactly, have. that's it. That's why we call it present perfect because the verb have is in present. The other grammar tense is past perfect, and the verb have is in past. Simple, exactly like that. Any other question, guys, about the, the report of the speech? No. Did, did you pass the exam? I pass it. <laughs> Piece of cake, isn't it? Yes. Now, unfortunately, I had prepared like extra practice for the report of the speech, but we don't have like more time. So we are going to go directly to the second favorite topic. The question tags. Do you remember this topic, everyone? Unfortunately, yes. yes. <laughs> Can I have some issues with the answers in the platform? Uh, which question? With question tags. Did you complete the platform or not yet? Yes. So which is the exercise? The... Uh, in the final exam, the part two, but I also had another one. Let's check. Question tags. Okay, but yes. you, could you complete the exercise? Yes. Yes. Because if you couldn't complete it, tell me so I can help you with that. Remember, guys, that you need to finish the platform. With the homework 3.7. But did you complete it? Yes. Yes? Yes. Ah, okay. So it was difficult, you said. No, no, no. I completed, but it it's supposed to be wrong in ah. the class. Okay, what is the number? 3.7. Seven. Seven, okay. I don't know if anybody has this the same issue. Eh, um, some of your classmates did, but... <laughs> In the past, <laughs> no worries. Look at this. This is the one, Amanda. No, no, no. Sorry, I, I. Let me, let me, let me show you. I copied the the full sentence. So, for example, I, I put on. Do you want to go on holiday? Comma. Don't you? 
and ah, like the, yeah, uh, I did the same, Amanda. <laughs> I, I had the same yeah. problem uh, like a okay. week ago. <laughs> Maybe exactly. Maybe I'm not attending this class. Sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Look at this. Let me help you. In this case, yeah, that is one of the mistakes that we had at the beginning because we were writing the full answer, right? The full sentence. Don't worry, Amanda. In this case, you just have to write exactly the question tag. And if you okay. see in the sentence, it's already the question mark. So you don't even need to add the question mark. So for example, you want to go on holiday? Only the phrase don't you you don't need capital letter you don't need the question mark you don't need a point anything only exactly the question tag okay okay mm -hmm. thank you yes try please try to complete the exercise right now and if you still have issues let me know so i, I can help you with the answer no, no, no. Okay? already i fixed it okay perfect. everything is okay Thank you. That is excellent. Pretty good. Okay. Ready for the exam about question tags, everyone? Yes. yes. An easy one. <laughs> no. Yeah, for tomorrow. The tricky, the tricky one. <laughs> the tricky one. Let me see which one will be the, the, the most difficult. <laughs> no, don't worry. It's easy. Okay. I have here some sentences. Okay. You just need to tell me. What will be the complete sentence? Imagine that I say he, ta, 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 the plane, did he? If I say mm. did, Negative. what do you think? What will be the sentence over here? He the didn't sentence? miss. He didn't miss. He, he didn't. didn't miss. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. With yes. your life? Yes. yes. It's okay. always the opposite. <laughs> Correct. It's always the opposite. And remember, in the question tag, we don't change the grammar tense. Pretty good. Okay. How about this one? It ta, 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 since last Friday, hasn't it? The sentence is positive. Can you tell me the sentence, please? It has rained since last Friday, hasn't it? Hmm. It has rained. Do you agree, everybody? Yes, I agree. With your life? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My other life, but yes. My other life. Different <laughs> life. All right. Look, in this case, the game shared that you can say it has been raining, but because it's just ing. In this case. As your classmate said, it has rained. It's perfect. No problem at all. Now, Carlos, Mauricio, pick one of your classmates, please. Uh, Andrea. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Andrea, you ta -ta -ta sleep. Where are you? What will be the complete sentence? Um, I don't know. You were no. You were sleep. Not you. Um. Weren't sleep. Weren't. Hmm. You can ask for help. You can ask some of your classmates to help you. Anyone, please. You are sleeping. Carlos, can you repeat? Ah, uh, you were. Yours, yours. No. You were. You were. You is in positive. You have to you use were, the positive. You weren't. Ah, you weren't. Ah, you weren't. If you I have sleeping? were here, it will say it in Sleep. negative. So, you weren't? Sleep. Mm. Sleep. Sleeping. Sleeping. <laughs> ah. Sleeping. Uh -huh. Remember, uh -huh. if I have the verb to be, can I say you weren't asleep? Mm. No. No, mm -hmm. it doesn't make okay. sense. It will be like, tu estabas dormir? Teacher, right. what, about, what about sleepy? Sleeping. Sleepy? Yes, you can say it. But remember that sleepy is an adjective. 
And in this case, we are using sleep as a verb. But yeah, you can say you weren't sleeping. It works, no? It works, yes. Now, Andrea, pick someone, please. Um, a victim. <laughs> Carlos Ernesto. Carlos? Ernesto. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you, Andrea. <laughs> I know that I know you want no to participate. It's good for you. It's good for you. Um our train. Let's what see. do you think? Our train. Okay. Our train does does it leave at 5 a.m. Okay, if I have negative here. Yes, positive up. Do I need the auxiliary in a positive sentence? No, only the verb. Ah, so Carlos, try it yes. again. Um, our train uh -huh. is leave. Uh, leave? Uh, leave? Only the verb, Carlos. Use only the verb. Only the verb. Uh -huh. Yeah, in, in third person. That is important. The verb in third person. Our train. We are talking about it. Our train. Leave. It leave. All right, I look, confuse. It's, okay, in this case, good job because you said that if it is in negative, I need the sentence in affirmative. Okay. Leave, it's okay. Just remember the little detail. I'm talking about the train. It. So train is third person. So instead of leave, we need to say leave. Oh, Exaggerate okay. the letter S, third person. So our train leaves at five at the five a.m. Doesn't it? Okay? okay. Pretty good. Carlos, pick someone. Um, Kevin Alexander. Thank you, Kevin. Go ahead. Will you, nothing will happen, will it? Can you repeat? <laughs> I'm just trying to to make it a sentence, nothing. This is a tricky oh. question. Yes. Um... <laughs> Do you Nothing remember? will will end happening. Hmm, happening. Mm, happen. Mm. So, final answer. Oh no no no! Nothing will happen. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure? nothing will happen because the nothing is already a negative. That's the word. Excellent. Remember the rule, everybody. In English, we cannot have double negative in one sentence. I know that here is in affirmative, but because nothing is a negative sentence, we cannot say nothing won't happen. It is not possible. We have to say nothing will happen. Will it? Okay. Now, Kevin, pick one of your classmates. Let's move on. We have two minutes. Pick someone. Um, Kevin, Kevin, the other Kevin is easy for me. Just <laughs> Kevin Alfredo, look at this sentence and tell me, is this sentence correct? That's a new pair of boots, aren't they? Oh, I'm sorry, are they? Is it correct or not? Kevin Alfredo, are you there? I think he's not here. Okay, everybody, what do you think? Is it correct? The question tag? Aren't they? Aren't no. they? No, Are it's they? incorrect. It is correct. So yes or no? Sentence is in positive and the, the question tag should be in, in negative. Hmm, it's so incorrect. This one is incorrect. So what will be the correct question tag? Aren't they? Are you sure? Uh, that's a new pair of boots. But why they? Are and singular teacher. Ah, it, it, uh, it, it, boots. Isn't it? 
Isn't, isn't it? it? Look at this one. Isn't it? It's singular. I'm not talking about both, but I'm just talking about the pair. pair. It's only yes. one pair. One. Okay, the last one because of the time. You know how to drive a car, can't you? Can you? You know how to drive a car, can't you? It's it incorrect. No. Why? <laughs> the bird can't. Because the bird can't. We don't have a model. So what would be the correct one? Do you? Uh, don't you? Don't, don't you? Don't, don't you? Don't you? Yes, don't you? Are you sure? Do you? Do you? The sentence, the question is positive. Uh huh. So, you need to change it in don't, negative. don't you? Don't you? That's don't true. You. Ah, pretty good job. Okay, look, unfortunately, we don't have more time. So, but did you pass the exam with the question tags? Mm. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Maybe. Come on, confidence. <laughs> All right. So, guys, officially, we just finished the Intermediate 5. Congratulations. You did it, everybody. Yay. So, I hope everybody has finished the platform. Please, if someone hasn't finished it, try to do it as soon as possible. Because remember that if you want to enroll to the next level, you need to finish the platform. Now, I want, yes? <laughs> you can, uh, can you confirm that I finished the platform? Because I didn't have like, I didn't um, see any message. About so the Yeah, about finish. Okay, let's see. The, the last... Uh, the last um a uh, homework. Mm -hmm. No, actually, uh, Andrea. Yes, you finished all of okay. it. Pretty good okay. job. Okay, thank you, thank You're you. Welcome. Okay, so everybody, I just want to motivate you to encourage you to continue to the next level. All right, you are getting so far. So one more level in intermediate, and then advance. You are doing great, and please always review the vocabulary. Got it? Yes? Yes. yes Pretty good. good. Congratulations, everybody. Have a wonderful night. Thanks and... for all, teacher. Ah, it's all, my teacher. pleasure. My pleasure. We hope you can be our <laughs> teacher at the next level. <laughs> yes. I hope so. Yes, definitely. definitely. Well, please. Well, I will like it too, but I'm not sure yet. They haven't told me which group will I have. So, but I hope oh. we can see you around. Okay. If I'm not with you in the next level, but maybe in the advanced level, we can face again. All right. So, but yeah. Interesting. I... <laughs> Just do your best, please. And don't forget to continue practicing. Do you have any questions before leaving? No, thank you. Thank no, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank it's you. my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you will make me cry. Okay, guys, have a wonderful <laughs> night. Take care. See you later. Bye. 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 Bye.